Close your eyes, watch your breath. Try to be mindful of the breath and alert to the breath all the way in, all the way out. Being mindful means you remember to stay here. Being alert means that you watch both the mind and the breath at the same time to make sure they stay together. And you try to be ardent, doing this well. In other words, trying to breathe in a way that it is easy for the mind to stay with. Refreshing when you need to be refreshed, relaxing when you need to be relaxed, energizing when you need energy. This way you realize that by developing these qualities inside, you can create a sense of well-being. That's part of the Buddha's message, is that true well-being comes from within. We spend so much time looking for things outside, because our bodies tell us that. We get food from outside, we get help from outside, so we think that everything good has to come from outside. But actually we have the ability to generate goodness from within. We can get good influences from other people, but ultimately it's up to us to start generating our own goodness. And that way we can generate our own happiness. This is the time of year in Thailand where people are sending New Year's, New Year's cards. They're called Sokha so, which is an abbreviated form of ascending happiness, Songkwam Sup. And usually they have a blessing at the end. May the virtues of the Triple Gem protect you throughout the coming year. And it's good to stop and think about what does that mean. It's not that the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha are going to come and set up a fortress around your house to protect you. It's their qualities that are going to protect you. And where do you find those qualities? You have to look within. You probably know the old Zen koan about, you know, does a dog have Buddha nature? And the answer is no. And everybody's befuddled by that. If you're going to see the potential for awakenings, see the potential for goodness, don't look for it in other people. Look for it inside. So you develop qualities of mindfulness. And what is mindfulness here? As the Buddha said, when mindfulness is in charge of the mind, it sees that there are maybe skillful qualities that you haven't given rise to, so you try to give rise to them. Once they're there, you try to develop them further. Okay, this is a protection for you. This is what protects you, having this quality inside. This, of course, is one of the qualities of the Buddha. His mindfulness was pure and constant. And even though our mindfulness may come and go, the more we can develop it, the more protection we'll have. We have to be alert to what we're doing. Again, this is a quality of the Buddha. And that quality of ardency, really wanting to do this well. This is how the Buddha found his awakening. He didn't rest satisfied with what he had done until he had gone all the way to true happiness. So you want that quality of ardency in your life to protect you. The mindfulness, alertness, and ardency. These are the qualities that protect you and throughout the coming year, and of course beyond the coming year. You don't have to wait till the coming year. We've got a couple more days here. You can maintain them right now. And this way you're protected. As the Buddha said, when you have the Dharma as your island, it means to develop mindfulness, develop right mindfulness. And that's your protection wherever you go. The floods of the world may rise and fall, but you have an island that's high enough out of the water that you don't have to fear the changes of the world. That's the quality we're looking for, and that's the quality that will give us protection. So if you want to send some happiness to yourself, this is how you do it. And as for other people, to whatever extent you can help them be mindful, ardent, and alert, okay, that's how you send happiness to them.